Howdy, hi, hey, and hello everybody, Lausch and Krung here, your angry Lancer. But you can call me Krungler for short. Uh, today's video, I thought, uh, I've been requested actually, to do a Lance build tutorial video. So I thought it'd be really fun if we just jumped right in, took a look at some of my favorite builds that I like to use. Some original creations, some taken off other speedrunners I'll mention in, uh, as we go through. And I'll recommend their uh, channels as well as we go along. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Alright, so, this is my general use comfy attack build. And yes, I say comfy, because this thing is a dream to run. So, I'll name off the skills and I'll explain the specs in a second. So attack boost 7, agitator 7, guard 5, critical boost 3, weakness exploit 3, uh, critical eye 3 as well, offensive guard, blast attack 2, heat guard 1, latent power 1, doesn't really matter, and peak performance 1 slash 3. Alright, so as you can tell, nothing but attack, and the only comfort we have is guard 5, because, well hey. We're already running three of the attacks uh, skills that's available in the game. At, at a few of the attack skills, but obviously for a Master's Touch set, this is pretty much all the, you know, base attack you can stack on a Lance build. So yeah, so this is the build, and we're at 100% affinity. That is given to us through Weakness Exploit 3 plus... The augment. This thing is augmented for affinity, health regen, and status ailment up. So that puts us at a base 30% affinity, plus on an agitator 7 activation, we will get an extra 20% affinity. So with that, we're pretty much at 100% affinity with the inclusion of weakness exploit. Uh, so yeah. Also, this is a very mantle-heavy build, as you can tell, that peak performance is important, I believe. Uh, so, typically, you know, I have just the flawless skills on both. I always, at the start of a hunt, I will put on Evasion Mantle the moment I meet the monster. I will ro roll on the roar, and I'll either roar or I'll block the roar to proc offensive guard, whichever. It doesn't really matter, just, you know, you pick your preference. And then the Assassin Hood is what I put on after, because it lasts 7 minutes, so it's just two extra jewel slots that I get to make use of. Alright, so that's pretty much the specs of this build. I'll explain what I do, and I'll explain it further. Um, so we're just going to jump into a hunt, and I will show you... Actually, first, before we do that... Uh, I would like to show you variations on this build, where honestly, all I change is one jewel. So as you can see, I, c I call it the Unmaker because I'm a Doom fan. And so, as you can see, the you know, the peak performance jewel is on the Lance. There's just that extra jewel slot that I have there, but I swap that out for Guard Up if I need it. Remember, and I, I'd like to just stress this to everyone, I'd like to make an important announcement. Guard up is overrated to a degree. I find it incredibly useful on certain monsters like Balzac. Monsters that typically interrupt me from doing damage, I will use guard up for. Um, there are a few monsters that you can't really block at all, such as Zenogre's Pen and a few other things. I get that, and a few Lancers will complain about that, but I think that's fine because it just adds an extra challenge for Lancers to come up against. So anyways, yeah, so guard up. It does not need to be in every single Lance build. Everyone always asks me, oh, where's guard up? Where is it? Where is it? I can't, Where you need it. It's like, no, no, you, you don't need it all the time. Um, I'll probably put out a list of monsters that I use guard up for and monsters that also have unblockables, but I will, I will go through tactics. There we go, boom. That's another video idea. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so there's that, and then there's the Longsword God Proof build, where I exchange that um, 
Instead of guard up or peak performance, I put flinch free, if I just want to target a popular part that most people on a team would go to. Mostly with Lance though, I like to play solo. I think having that aggression on you is really important for not only just personal improvement, but just also just face tanking. It's very fun and enjoyable. It's one of the reasons why I don't take my Palico along, because I just like to keep the aggro on me at all times. Okay, so I think we've talked enough about the build. I feel like we should go and show off just some of the damage numbers you can achieve with this thing, and just kind of the steps that I take, mostly at the beginning of a hunt that, you know, this build would be used for. Okay, so here's a Volcana, and when starting a hunt, to activate Agitator, there's a little trick where you can Clutch Claw him three times, and then boom. I tend to stick on the face just a little bit longer, so that way I can avoid roars. It really, honestly, depends on the monsters you're fighting, and just their roar times. So we're just going to take a look. So now we have everything activated, and that's 192 damage we did with one poke. Let me just get another hit off here for you. 142. 156. 192, 192, 235. 351. And when you get the monster down, 390. Almost 400 damage. Just because, you know, some of our offensive guard and everything has worn off. But, yeah. That's the kind of damage you're going to be getting from this build. Alright. Now, you wouldn't believe it. But elemental lancing is a thing again. And this is why I think lance builds aren't as great as they could be. I think the perfect lance build is the has to be a beautiful blend between raw and elemental and I think that's where Lance sits because it switches back and forth on this meta of things of just these two sides that are obviously for every other weapon but at least for most other weapons it's either raw or elemental for the meta but Lance is, it's, it's in that in-between sweet spot, and that's what makes it very hard, which is where I think this weapon doesn't excel yet to the degree of what it could do. It has everything it needs to succeed. It just lacks damage is all, even with the highest damage, you know, kind of builds. But that's my little complaint to Capcom. Capcom, please give me damage boost. Or at least, you know, a build that could fit everything, you know, a girl could dream of. Anyways, okay, so let's jump into this set. So, this comes in all elemental variations. Fire, Thunder, Para, the builds are pretty much the same. You know, you, believe it or not, it's a full Safi set, an elemental charm, and a Kajar Lance. And that's your build. Easy, clear cut. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, it's not a resentment build, though it, I think it could be. Um, I'm still tinkering around with things, and I'm still a little busy with some theater stuff I'm trying to catch up on. But, you know, in the time that I can, I'm always constantly trying to test so I can get out information for you guys. But as far as things go, um, here is just the build of the Elemental Lance. So I'll just name off the skills. Um, elemental attack 6, guard 5, attack boost 4, uh, evade window 4, critical boost 3, weakness exploit 3, offensive guard 3, blight resistance 2, and that works with coalescence, peak uh, protective polish, critical element, and then slugger, I just kind of run just anything for the, for the mantles, I, I, there's no point in me putting peak performance because it's Safi, it's not going to work, it's not going to be effective. But yeah, that's pretty much your build, and honestly, that 
with fire. This build for fire against AT Namiel is what'll probably garnish you the fastest kill time you could probably get uh, on a matchup of Lance versus AT Namiel. But yeah, I don't really need to show off the combat for this. It's pretty standard, you know, throwing the impact mantle first for me, in my opinion, and then go to evasion later. Um, you're going to definitely need wet fish skins scales because it is a protective polish build and so a thing about this build too is the fact that um it is pretty customizable you can take out this jewel slot um just swap a few things around if you need but this is pretty hard to fit elemental is pretty hard to fit into a lance build with everything considered but yeah, that these are just kind of two meta builds that I'm currently running that are at the top of their game right now. There's nothing else really that I'm I want to show you guys. I mean, there's there's a few things like like I said, this stuff is highly customizable and it just kind of once you start getting into the groove of builds, you start seeing how things fit in and how to make counter builds like an eight like a val counter build pretty much like this you know you just you got to just swap a few things around and honestly it just it just comes down to pure customization anti rage monkey this is just you know a little anti rajang build it's it's got to be updated actually this one needs to be um but yeah that's that's pretty much it for for lance builds um you guys once again i just want to extend all my love to you beautiful people you guys have been so awesome uh and also one quick thing i really want to touch on uh because i said it was comfy earlier health regen i want to show you guys how effective that is on a full damage build and this is why the shield is your only defense you need. So we're just going to pop into a hunt, and I just want to show this off quick, and then we'll end the video. Okay, so as you can see, we've taken some damage. Now I want to see that damage returned. Bam. You can't tell me that the health regen doesn't regen enough when you run a build like this. I'll even get hit again. Do it. I dare you. Hit me. We're gonna take all that damage and I want you to just watch that again. How about that, eh? How about that? This is why Lance does not need to be a tank. Tank, tank build. You know, you're disrespecting that shield. It's the strongest shield in the game for a reason. Right? That's all you need. That's it. And you're full health for days. So anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone who comes out, hangs out on stream. I am a Mixer streamer. I am the underscore Krungler on Mixer. That's where you'll find me most often. Um, and just feel free to pop in and ask questions and we can just, I can answer you live and give out demonstrations and everything. So. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate you. Um, I think the next vid video that we're going to do is a Lance Strength and Weaknesses. I think that would be really important, just to just to know what to focus on. Because I want, I want to build better Lancers. I want Lance to be put right back on the map as it was in previous titles. So... Anyways, guys, with that, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, do all that goofy YouTube stuff. I'm not too huge into YouTube. Mixer is mostly my home platform. But anyways, with that, guys, I thank you kindly, and I'll see you next time on the next video.